the message that we're trying to deliver at this stage is there's an opportunity out there. You know, we've looked at the we've looked at websites, we've looked at press reports, we've spoken to farmers directly, we've spoken to the National Farmers Union, and the message out there is in terms of extreme weather conditions, for example, of this year, um, and obviously the economic climate we all find ourselves in, there are serious difficulties out there for farmers. What we're trying to say and to do is, is not to sort of set aside your your, your farming sort of um, career or uh, vocation is, is probably what I say it as. Um, what we're looking for farmers who have got ample bits of land and we're only going to use a small portion of that land. So given you know, the farmers that I've spoken to, albeit economically, um, you know, they're probably struggling, they still want to they still want to farm the land. And that's not, we don't want to get in the way of that at all. We want, we want to see a marriage or a blend where solar actually f fits in and there's almost a diversification of that of that farming land with solar and the production of crops or or, or grazing um, and i think that marriage to date has has effectively worked from from what i can see we've got 220 sites and um, probably just over that most of them are on greenfield sites so this is something that's been tried and tested for the last two years i think once they know who light source is um, once we sit down and talk to them and we agree a deal we follow through with that deal um, and we intend to own and operate that plant for the full 25 years. Most of the farmers I've spoken to do generally still want to farm that land and that's for that reason we have actually gone ahead and actually got a grazing policy put in place with our legal department and we will allow grazing on those sites even though we're the tenant and have those rights for that, for that leased area for 25 years that we will allow them either through a maintenance contract to cut the grass for silage or else to put chickens or some sort of small livestock Unfortunately, it can't be cows, given the nature of the of the plant that we have and, and how expensive it is. But we will generally work with any farmer to try to get a solution to number one, if they still want their single farm payments, to sort of work with them on that respect, but also for them to physically use that land. And why light source is probably a question most people are asking. And it's essentially, without taking my word for it, I think um, trolling the internet and seeing what press releases are out there, coming to us, speaking to us, and us bringing to a site is probably the the, the best and sort of most hands-on approach I can probably see to do that and we've done that on a number of occasions with a number of farmers and also with a number of councils to explain to them there is no perceptible noise you know it's very passive in nature this isn't wind this isn't something you're going to see from 40 50 miles away this is because of Cornish hedges and Deb and Somerset these things are quite sort of innocuous in terms of unless you're right on top of them or if you're a bird looking from a bird's eye point of view. The bankability that we have in terms of octopus finance sitting behind us in this retail fund, there's obviously security there that, that you know we are going to be paying the rent for the 25 years. We're not going to go insolvent, which is obviously a question that we get from time to time. We will operate these and own these for 25 years. We're not in the business of selling any of our projects. We never have and to my understanding we never will. Um, we're looking for ourselves a secure revenue stream which is backed by the government. We started with a company of eight people on the 8th of November 2010. We've now got 110 people um, which still baffles me that we've got so big so quickly but the reason for that is because we've been successful and the only reason we've been successful is we have forged good relationships with farmers because again at the end of the day that is the bread and butter of our sites. We will be there, we're a phone call away we're an email away, we will come and meet you, we'll shake your hands. You're probably asking yourself, who am I and what experience have I got to obviously speak to you directly? Um, well, I'm the Business Development Director of LightSource. My previous roles in life um, led me through a planning career in Northern Ireland and the UK, where I worked for the civil service um, as a senior and then principal planner. Um, and I think that also gives farmers the confidence that you know LightSource actually are engaged and they are listening, they are going to do what they want. Um, from then, from my planning, from Sort of string I've then gone into the business development side of things and that's been a natural progression and one that I have even known I've actually got into until I was promoted within LightSource but again that's it's the same role as I did with planning it's actually meeting people it's talking to them it's being straight um, obviously and cards on the table and you've probably recognized from my Northern Irish accent I'm not somebody sitting up in London not understanding how the world works. Um, you know, I'm completely familiar with the economic climate that we all find ourselves in. In fact, Northern Ireland is pretty worse than most. Um, and not that we're the shining light and coming over the hill to save everyone, but you know, what I want to sort of sort of portray to people is that there is an option there. Come and speak to Light Source. Come and speak to people like myself, and we will say how it is. If the site doesn't work, we will tell you it doesn't work. 
we're not going to mess you about. We will be honest and open. And as I say, it is a rigorous program or process that we do um, to find a site. You know, so we have to look at things like ecology. We have to look at archaeology. Um, and you know, we look at landscape visual assessment. We speak to the local communities, as I say, and we speak to the planners. Um, the site has to be generally south facing, which is obvious to most people. I'm sure you know. Um, a slight, you know, north or east gentle slope, which is okay as well. Um, but essentially, we're looking for sites that we don't have to remove hedges from. Again, just because of the, the hedge policy, um, where it isn't there aren't any archaeological finds. There's no sort of list of buildings beside it. Um, and in essence, there's not that many communities relatively close by, um, again, just for the visual impact of it. So there's the things, and they're the things we try to promote. And I think farmers are generally understanding and probably know those a lot more than I do or any of my team when they go down to speak to them. And again, that's why it's important for me, not through an agent, but actually speak to the farmer directly. The reason we have got to the position that we've got to in the relatively short period of time that we've, we've done what we've done is because we're quite personable. We speak to people directly. Um, we obviously listen to farmers, we listen to communities um, and the message that I really want to sort of get across to, to those farming communities out there um, is that we want to listen, we want to obviously work with you. You know, we're in this game for 25 years. I think that the difference from us and other developers out there is that we want to own these assets for 25 years. We operate them, um, we've got an asset management team in place as well. So there's no third parties, there's no external people that you'll actually be speaking to. It'll be me or someone from my team or someone from the asset management team. And that will be the relations that we have for the full 25 years. But also, I think, hopefully, from, from me speaking to you, I think you probably understand that I'm not a car salesman, I'm not out sort of punting, you should come with us. What I'm trying to say is there's an actual option here. And there's a number of options there, but speak to us, whether you speak to two or three other people as well. And I think you'll probably find that you'll go with LightSource.